Now, Judy, I understand that the fire spread to another large building overnight. It did, just as big as the one that burned down. Actually, if you can see the red building behind me, that's the second building. Well, firefighters tell me that the fire started in the building that was located right behind it, and it had all of the bulk, bulk um, storage with all of the fireworks inside of it. It spread through a walkway that we're told is about 14 feet wide, right as the firefighters were getting here, and now they say that both of these buildings are a total loss. There was a huge orange red billow of fire and smoke and explosions. It was mass chaos. I mean, there was smoke, there was flame shooting 60 feet in the air. And the fire could be seen from miles away. This is home video from the view a few miles away as a motorist was traveling on US 31, a few miles west from Windy City Fireworks, a major fireworks retailer that went up in smoke Wednesday evening. Started around between 9.30 9.45. That's when Dan Davison and his family heard the first of many explosions. And I thought um, that it, the fireworks were at the 4-H fairgrounds. But when they looked out the window, they realized it was coming from the fireworks store down the street. Uh, my son looked out the window and saw billowing smoke and fire. As for Lisa Carpenter and her friends, they were listening to the police scanners when they heard the call go out. And it come over that it was one D City Fireworks and it was fully engulfed and they were calling out all the fire departments. Roads were blocked off to the public, so they resorted to walking half of a mile from home to check on family located right across the street. We actually saw the smoke and the fire. It was really bad. It was actually melting the aluminum on the side of the building, it was dripping. You know, the thought had crossed my mind in years past, thinking, wow, what if that thing ever went up? But it's not something he thought would happen. But now that it has, it's causing quite an outpour from the community. The kids look forward to it. I mean, this is this is something that's going to, it's going to devastate a lot of the town because this is the only place that we could get fireworks. We hope they can rebuild. Now, as you can see there on your screen, as you can see there on your screen, the smoldering debris is still smoldering, and it has been since the fire was actually put out right around 1 or 1.30 this morning. Fire crews are still out here on standby, just monitoring that debris, making sure that it doesn't ignite what is left of this building. And I'm told that investigators will be back out here soon as the sun comes up to investigate what the cause was that caused this fire. Reporting live in Rochester, Judy Lykowski, ABC 57 News.